Okay, guys, welcome back to Undertale. I'm going to pick up from here. And uh, one thing I want you to know is that I messed up. I made a mistake when it came to uh, recording. Apparently, I changed the settings. So uh, we're going to re- we're gonna have to do some post audio. So I figured I can narrate what I'm doing now in the game. As well as give you my opinions of the game so far. Just up to episode three. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm looking at the items that I have in the inventory. There's like a box system, a storage system, and I can access this box anywhere. I can access this very same box anywhere there's another box. So it's like I can move items that I don't need into that box. It's pretty cool. And what I'm going to do now is I'm checking my inventory to see what all the what all stats get raised or lowered based on the items. The toy knife gives me bonus attack. Uh, the butterscotch pie, it refills all my HP. Probably going to need that later on. And it's both of the flavors, the good and the bad one. And then there was a toy glove in the box. And the toy glove uh, gives me plus five attack. I remember making a joke about challenging to a duel a la Prince on a Chappelle show. And then a random battle. And now I'm fighting this guy. This this clown. I'm fighting Snow Drake. Uh, Snow Drake. I don't remember how, how the fight went, to be very honest with you. One thing I do know about this game so far is that I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying the fact that it's very... For it to be an RPG. For it to be an RPG... Uh, it's very different in how it handles itself. Like how, how I deal damage, as you just saw. Damage is dealt by me hitting as close to the middle as possible. Uh, the closer I am, the more points worth of damage that are dealt. It's very innovative. It, 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 it reminds me of that every single time, and then I'm still doing not so good at it. Then I'm ready to kill uh, Snow Drake who keeps making corny jokes. And don't worry, the post... The post commentary is only for this episode, and it's not even the whole episode. This episode is about 20 minutes long. Uh, it's gonna go for 15, so <laughs> it's almost the whole video. But the audio does catch up at one point. I realized something was going wrong, and I fixed it. And I do like the I like how battle goes for the opponent as well. It gives me a sort of mini game to play, and some of them are easy, some of them are difficult. That that right there is a true level of difficulty. The fact that it's not the same mini game every time. What he does is he throws like these these spinning blades sorts of things, and now he's dropping those same blades. They're not spinning anymore. I just have to learn the pattern and dodge it. And, it's, and again, it's not even the same pattern every time. That's that's honestly that's what gaming needs, in my opinion. That's what gaming needs. These changing mini games that don't get me used to any one sort of system for me to complete it, for me to succeed or even fail. One of the things I remember, this game was nominated for uh, one of the awards at the Game Awards. And I think that this game can set, needs to be a game that sets a trend in, in future games. I don't want to see the same combat over and over. I want a challenge. This, like, see, this this is a challenge. I thought I got hit, got hit once in that. That's a true challenge. And then you see he's yellow now, so I don't have to fight him. I can spare him. And that's, in fact, what happens. I spare him and get me 16 gold, no experience. And I saw a fishing pole. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. And I thought, hmm. I left this up here, and then I send it back out. And I was wondering at this point, is, does, this, does this change the game? If I would have left it out, would that have an effect on a future monster? Would a monster be sad that I didn't call him and, <laughs> and, and not with a fight or something? I, I figured, no, let's not push it. And I saw these two clowns. I was like, all right, here we go. I'm going to sneak past them, and no, I'm not. So, as I was saying about Undyne. I was like, oh no, here we go, I'm in trouble. <clears throat> Sans! Oh my god! Is that a human? 
Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? It was like, Sans, you clown. You clown. Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! I'm dying, Will. I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular. Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then. I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> well... That went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. And I was like, oh, you clown. You don't, you don't have eyeballs. You got pupils, but you don't got eyeballs. Then I was thinking, like, what? I wonder if that would have gone different had I not tried to sneak past him. Had I not gone down to the bottom of the screen and tried to sneak past. All right, so that was something. And then I figured something was wrong. I was trying to fix it. Couldn't fix it. <laughs> so that's what that quick audio burst was. All right. So then what I wanted to do, I wanted to progress on. I guess I went back to save and then progress forward. A quick save. It's not, it's not bad to save randomly, guys. And when we tell you different, they're not your friends. Then we ran to Ice Cap. I believe this was the first time that I ran to Ice Cap. Don't remember. I don't, I'm so far into the game that I don't remember, to be very honest with you. All right, so Ice Cap's got a, got a trick up his sleeve. He wants to throw ice things at me. I'm like, okay. Ice Cap wants to be friends. Let's, let's figure this out. So let's act. And then what we'll do is we'll, 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 we'll try to steal this cap. And we succeeded, and it melted in my hands. And that's Ice Cap. That's what's left of Ice Cap. Or, I suppose. So we got Ice. No Cap. Uh, he still looks fine. So, I can still impress you? Ice doesn't mind its identity. And then let's see. I think I went to check. Yep. Oh, no, I didn't. I spared him. 22 gold, but no experience. At this point, I think it was at this point where I was like, okay, I need to start killing people. Sorry, sorry to the world. I need to start killing people. I ran across this house, but, you know, another random battle. And since I knew how to deal with Ice Cap, I dealt with him the best way I knew how. Tried to steal his hat, and he's not weak enough. So I realized, okay, it's kind of like Pokemon. Gotta weaken him first. And I got hit. Because I'm a clown. Alright, so there's some dandruff. It's kind of nasty. Just a little bit. Bam! Big hit. He's complimenting his own hat. Good, because we don't give out compliments around here. You earn those. Alright, so then we go to steal his hat. Come on. You try to steal it. He's not. He's still not weak enough. So then I'm like, okay, guess what? Gonna kill him. You're just gonna commit murder. As soon as we're done dodging. Yep, he's gotta go. What I tried to do was not kill him all the way. I wanted to steal his hat. <laughs> all right, and then we, then we commit, we commit thievery. Steal his hat. His hat melted. And then he says it's cold, but I don't get it. I don't get it. it. Smells like frozen despair. So then guess what? We commit murder. Oh, straight murder. 240 something points of damage. We get experience gold and our love increases. We're now at love three. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's how you got to do. Sometimes you just got to kill the love. Sometimes you just got to kill the love. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're not your friends. They aren't. All right, so then there was narration on the cardboard box. You you observed the well. Something. 
<laughs> Screensaver took over. Very simple. All right. So then we read a note. Absolutely no moving. So then I thought, you know, what happens if I move? <laughs> Uh-oh. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. And then we hit us a battle. Throwing right into a battle. We got Doggo. He's blocking the way. In case you couldn't tell. So I was trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out, you know, what, what does that mean? As long as I don't move, does that mean don't attack him? No, we're going to attack him. 31 to Doggo. And he says, don't move an inch. Bam. That's me not moving, guys. When there's light blue like that, you, you don't want to move. Otherwise, you'll take damage. You, you, you don't want to take damage. It's bad. It's a bad thing. So as long as you don't move through the light blue attacks, you're fine. You are fine. So he can't find anything. We're going to go for another hit. 33 to him this time. He's ready to die now. Bam. No movement. All right, so we just need a final hit on Doggo. I was going to give him mercy, but I think, I think he wants to kill me. We can't give him mercy. So we take 30 experience and 30 gold, and our level goes up. Excuse me, our love goes up once more. So I ring the bell. Nothing happened. Probably because I just killed Doggo. Someone's been smoking dog treats, and we'll check it from the other side. The same thing is said. So then we have our boy here. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine the stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign that said. So I was like, you clown. What does that mean? What does that mean? Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Then I was trying to figure out why it's in yellow. I was like, you don't make any sense at all. So obviously this is a ice path. Uh, north is ice, south is ice, and west is ice. East is also snowed in town and ice. So typically once you're on the ice, you're going to slide until you hit something to stop or until you come off of the ice. Very straightforward. And I saw these two clowns. I was like, all right, here we go. It's go time. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses. Excuses. Oh, ho! the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Excuse me? I, 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 excuse me. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. And then this clown walked the path, left the footprints for me, and gave me the orb. And ran back. So, you know, I've got the orb, and he wants me to solve the puzzle. So, here we go. All right. Simple, no? And there it is. Incredible, you slippery snail. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be so easy. It is designed by my brother, Science. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I guess cool is the word for it. Let's see something. cool guy. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Um, no it's not. It is in fact not the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? Uh, how much is nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Uh, let's go for some nice cream. Let's help the man out. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Uh, let's see what nice cream does for us. Let's see. Nice cream heals 15 HP. And instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. That's very sweet of him. Let's see. Big snowball. I wonder if that's part of this uh this trap. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. Uh, you mean water? Do I want some water? Sure, I'll pay five gold for some water. Did I say five G? I meant fifty G. No, you're right. That's still too low. You're on drugs. Goodbye, good sir. I guess that snowball wasn't part of a trap. Oh, I can push it though. I can probably make a snowman. Let's see. Uh, uh do I want to put it in that? Oh, oh, okay. I guess I want to. Oh, oh, it's melting. It's melting. Why is it melting? Oh no. What happened? How do I get a new one? Okay, okay, okay. It's about like it's getting super small. Okay. Uh, I missed. I suck at this. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's not a, it's a golf ball. Oh, okay. So what about this? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Well then, thanks for the nerd stuff. Huh? There's a camera hidden inside this lump of snow. Can I take the camera? No? Was it? Oh, I believe someone's watching me. All right. So we're going to run into these two clowns, huh? 